my friend, and thank you so much for pressing play on this hip and thigh workout, the best routine to strengthen and sculpt your lower half. If you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is Caroline Jordan, and I'm a health and fitness coach here to help you live your very best life. On my channel, you'll find a variety of fitness content designed to help you stay fit, stay positive, and kick booty living a life that you love. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell so we stay connected every time I publish new videos. This hip and thigh workout is designed to strengthen your butt, hips, and thighs to help you prevent injuries, improve performance, and kick butt living your active life. I hope it's a routine you can come back to time and time again to feel your very best. As always, you'll want to check with your doctor or your physical therapist before starting this or any exercise routine. Modify movements as needed and listen to your body. I designed this workout to help you feel your very best, but I need you to listen to yourself in order to do that. All you'll need is a mat, some water, and a little bit of space to start this workout. I actually keep this workout on bookmark and have it in the gym to press play whenever I need a little bit of a hip and thigh boost. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Roll out your mat and let's strengthen your hips, buns, and thighs together. All right, it's time to get started with this hips, butt, and thighs workout. I'm so happy you decided to press play and join me for this lower body strengthening exercise video routine. Let's take it to tabletop position. You're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Our first exercise is a bird dog reach with arms and legs out to the side. You'll extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Squeeze your belly button in and reach from fingertips to toes. From here, I want you to take your arm and your leg out to a diagonal and then back to center. Let's do this together. So reach it out to the side and center. Now, as you move, I want to make sure that you're not dipping anywhere in your spine. So keep your abs engaged. Stay lifted out of the hip and the supporting shoulder. I want to use this movement as a great warm-up exercise to help you connect to your abs, your hips, your hamstrings, your butt, and actually, let's be honest, your whole body. So keep moving, arm and leg out to the side and back to center. Make sure you're not sinking your head down to the floor and that your eyes are looking straight at your mat. Make sure you're also breathing because we can't do much without oxygen. Keep it going. You've got two more extending out and in last one, hold it there. Take the hand behind the head and lift the elbow away from the floor. Bring your knee in towards the other knee and take it to a fire hydrant extending out to the side and back in. So my right hand is behind my head and my left knee is doing the fire hydrant, which you know what that means, the dog and the fire hydrant. Yep, the same movement. And I want to make sure that you're not sagging or sinking. You've got to use those ab muscles, stay lifted, and really connect to your whole body from fingertips to toes. Right now you should be feeling everything and I want good form. Remember, it's not important to move hard if you don't move well. Make form your number one priority and you're gonna love, love, love this video. Try two more and one. From here, hold the leg up, put the hand on the mat. So now you're in a three prod stance. You're going to kick your leg out, bring it back to tabletop, and then drop it, try it again. So we lift, kick, in and down. We have done these moves on my floor bar videos before together. This one is seriously tough. And right now you should be feeling your hips saying, hello, 
It's nice to see you today. Keep your abs in nice and tight. And again, make sure you're not sinking in your upper body. You need to use every single part of yourself to do this well. Keep breathing. Oh, my booty loves you. You should be feeling pretty much everything <laughs> and having a good time with it as well. Try two more. Oh, I love it. Last one. Good, from here, take the leg out to the side. You're gonna tap it down, reach it up. Just a few of these because you know what? I've got a killer workout for you today and I don't want you to get too tired right out of the gate. So kick that leg, you can point or flex the foot, whatever works best for you and your body. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Four more. I told you I wasn't gonna take any, any mercy today. And rest, okay, knees in, take a quick breather in child's pose, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Ha, I love me some hips. Bring it back to tabletop, good news, we have everything on the other side. So, tabletop position, abs tight, spine straight, extend, opposite arm and toe, and from here you can see the other side. So I'm gonna reach both arm and leg out, and then in. This is an awesome core stability exercise. I use this with a lot of my virtual coaching clients because sometimes we forget how our core connects everything together. So this is a really good movement to help you start to get an idea of, wow, my body is not just independent parts moving independently, but really this part that moves all together. So I want you to think about everything working to help you as you do this diagonal movement. And you can move faster or slower, do a pace that feels good to you. Again, like what I said earlier, what matters most is that you make this feel good to you. You might be feeling your shoulders right now, that's a bonus, you are so welcome. Let's do one more. Whew. Okay, hand behind the head, knee comes in, you do the fire hydrant with the leg and keep the elbow up. So reach out and in. Now you can see from this side, I'm not letting my upper body sink. I have to use my upper back muscles, posture muscles, to keep this elbow up. Remember, if it's hard for you, don't be hard on yourself. You get better over time. That's why you're here. You're doing this video because you want to get stronger. So expect it to be hard. I don't expect it to be easy. I expect it to challenge you so that you can come back stronger. And hopefully pretty soon, you're teaching me this video. Good, stay with it. This should feel pretty good right about now in your abs. And relax. Bring your hand down, and now you're just going to take the knee up, kick the leg, knee in and down. Try not to sink over to the side. So you've gotta stay lifted. Everything has to work, like what I said earlier. You've gotta keep everything with you, working all together. Oh my goodness. And we haven't even really gotten started yet. Yes, this is deliciously awesome. Stay with it. Keep kicking, make sure your abs are working so you're not sinking in that spine. Form is everything, form is everything. Move well, we're gonna move well together today. Try two more, hip muscles on fire, last one. Okay, now we take the leg out to the side and you're going to lift and lower, straight leg, up and down. Make it come from your hip. If you're feeling it in your hip flexor, your form is off and you'll want to either call me for a virtual coaching appointment or ask your coach to help you fix it. I can help you, you just gotta look at how you're moving and do it better. Two more, oh wow, and we are done with that. Okay, bring it on down, take a breath in and a long breath out, whoo. Okay, we're gonna move it to sideline. I have all of our exercises right here for us, so we won't forget anything because it's all so important. So you're going to bring elbow underneath shoulder, keep your abs in nice and tight, bend your knees on the mat. We're going to do the lifted clamshell. This is a fabulous exercise. Your physical therapist will approve. So from here, abs tight, lift up, and now don't sink in your shoulder. Use your core, it's a lot of core here. You can take your hand behind your head or on your hip, whatever suits you. And now I want you to keep your toes together, 
open and close the knees. Again, you need to use this bottom hip not to sink down. So I expect you to work everything. We are using everything today. I know this video says hips and butt, but really you should be feeling abs, shoulders, upper back, all the things. I like to be efficient. I like exercise videos that just get everything done really quick so you can go out and live a fabulous life. Good, last one. Now I want you to take the leg up, reach it out straight, reach your top arm up and lift into what we call star plank. You're going to lower the top leg and lift it. Good, abs are still on. If you're feeling your neck, you can always look down. That's a really great option, so I want you to remember that if you ever feel your neck, just look down, just keep your form awesome, okay? You're doing great. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Okay, extend through your fingers, lift up, use your butt, don't cheat, do two more, and last one. Okay, now you're gonna take it to side plank. So stack your legs, lift it up, hold. We're just gonna hold, abs tight, ribs in, smiling is very advanced. Okay, chest open, good job, be proud of yourself. Look down if you feel that neck. Good, start to stay open, try to stack your hips. Breathe, 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 you're awesome. Okay, lay down, let yourself relax. We're not done with your hips. You can Jane Fonda your head like this or let your bicep be a pillow. We're going to do a side-lying soccer kick. So what that looks like is the top leg is gonna come out and you extend your legs. You're getting an IT band stretch, abs tight. I want you to lift and lower this top leg. And I love this exercise because it really challenges you, yes, of course, to use your butt and your thighs, but also you have to use your abs. So you should be feeling your abs throughout this entire workout video. And like I told you, you're getting lots of bonuses today here. You can flex or point your foot, whatever works for you, but I want you to really feel that side booty muscle. So you should be really sweating and working up quite a burn here. Oh, this is a hip and thigh booty burner, that's for sure. Okay, just two more. And last one. Now I want you to take it up and hold. You can point the foot if you want, flex it, whatever works, and you're just gonna circle. Oh yes. Now, can you circle without letting your whole body do everything for you? So I really just want this from the hip. And it's hard, you're gonna see me wobbling around. I'm working on it right here with you. Okay, circle the other way, circle. Tomorrow, my buns are going to say, I love you, YouTube family, YouTube Fit family. Thank you, my booty loves you. I really do though, I think of you guys all the time. I'm trying to distract myself from the fact that my butt is burning right now by sending you love and positive energy. Okay, and we are done. Give your booty a nice big pat and let's switch it to the second side. So we're gonna right swing it on over. I wore my hot snake skin pants for you today, the hot tips. Okay, we're going to a lifted clamshell. So make sure elbow goes underneath shoulder, pulling in nice and tight with the belly, lift it up, hand wherever you want it, and feet stay touching, open and close. Now I guarantee you, you're going to feel the second side because it was working on the first side. Yeah, so this is a double whammy workout. I mean, even if you just do like the first sequence of this workout, you're still helping yourself get stronger. So, you know, if you can't do the whole thing, a little bit goes far. Remember, a little bit of movement can make a big difference. So try to get rid of that all or nothing mindset. Make little bits really count. And hopefully this is one of those videos that counts for you. Okay, last one. Relax, bring it up to that star plank. So extend the leg, lift the hips, abs in nice and tight, reach the arm wherever you want it, shimmy fingers, and we're gonna lower and lift that straight leg up and down. Sometimes if you have the ability to do this workout against like a full length mirror, then you can kind of be your own coach and say, hey, how's my form looking? What would Caroline tell me to fix here? I mean, form really is everything. So if you're feeling it in the wrong places, something's up. And we gotta look into that, okay? So, you know, just food for thought. As your booty is burning, ha ah, oh my goodness, so much burning. Okay, I'm just gonna keep smiling because that helps take away the pain. Take away the pain so much. Okay, last one, hold. We go to that side plank, so bring it up, side plank, 
lift it up, abs in nice and tight, reach up through that top arm, don't sink in the bottom shoulder, squeeze everything, and remember, you're here for a reason because you know that when you put time and energy into your health and your fitness, you feel good. And when you feel good, you have positive energy. And when you have positive energy, it radiates to everybody around you. And that makes the world better. It makes you a better wife, a better sister, a better dad, a better brother, like whoever, it just makes you better. So keep putting energy into you because you matter. And right now, everything's on fire. Okay, lower it down. Lay down whatever way suits you. Let's go to that sideline soccer kick. So you're going to reach the leg forward, drop it on the floor, abs tight, hips stacked, and lift and lower. Now you might find that you have more of a burn when you flex the foot or you point it. It's totally, again, up for your discretion. Just play around with it. See what works. And then after you're done with this workout, let me know what you like better so I can know <laughs> for next video. Good. So on these sideline soccer kicks, imagine that your back is against a wall. Don't let your back go forward and back. A lot of times I work with clients and I see them wobbling all over the mat and I'm like, that's just not gonna work for you. <laughs> you gotta keep it all tight and together. Move well, help yourself move better. That is really the secret to everything. We wanna move well in our lives. Okay, take it up and hold, point flex, whatever, circle. Little circles, like you're drawing a beautiful painting of strong hips and buns right in front of you. And for some reason you draw the painting with your toes. You know, <laughs> who knows? This is what happens when your butt's burning so much your brain starts to not be able to express words properly. Okay, switch, go the other way. Oh my goodness, things are shimmying and shaking. Thank goodness I'm wearing these pants. I feel like it makes it easier. Whew. Okay, we're almost there. Four, three, two, and relax. Okay, another high five for your bottom. You gotta give yourself a, you know, pat on the butt. <laughs> and then lay onto your back. So now we're moving into a few final exercises for your hips, butt, and inner thighs. So from here, you're going to come into a bridge position. So lift your hips up, keep your tummy in nice and tight, hands down by your sides, Let's take one leg up to the ceiling, and with this leg up, everything stays stationary. You're gonna go out to the side and back in. Now, this is really hard to do with a big range of motion. So do a small range of motion, like I'm doing here, because if I go further, my hips are gonna tilt to the side, and I don't want that to happen, because then my form would be poopy, and I only have time for good movement patterns right now. So, you know, I don't wanna get sloppy. So out and in. Right now you're feeling everything and I'm sweating. <laughs> Good, you've got two more and last one. Okay, now hold it up. Now you're gonna take this leg underneath the supporting leg. See that? And then you're gonna kick it out. So we go under and kick. Now you wanna again, stay strong through that supporting leg. So you should be feeling your hips, butt and hamstrings like crazy. And I'll tell you, like sometimes I do heavy strength work at the gym squats and deadlifts, that sort of thing, which is great and helps. But you know what? Sometimes when I do these workouts, my butt is more sore. I'm just saying. This stuff goes far. You don't always need to deadlift your body weight to feel a lot of results. Okay, two more. Oh my goodness. Last one. Whew. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. So put the foot down. You're gonna switch over to the other side. So other leg lifts up. You're gonna feel what you just did. And now you take the leg out to the side and back in. Are you having fun yet? I hope so. Remember, if workouts stress you out, they're do you're doing it wrong. Make sure your workouts are fun. They're having a good time and you get to feel good. Also, if your workouts make you exhausted and drained, you're also doing it wrong. They should make you sore and challenged and stronger, but not like so exhausted that you don't want to do anything else with your life. Your life needs to be rich and full of things that you love that matter to you. So make sure these, these exercises only help you get there. Okay, last one. Whew. Hold it up. Try to distract from the butt burning. Tuck it under and then reach it up. Tuck it under and reach. Now, if you feel your lower back, I want you to take a break, okay? It also might mean that in your bridge, you're going too far up. So go a little less far up, a little further down. 
Sometimes I look at clients and their bridges are so far in extension that they're feeling their lower back. So maybe your bridge is too high. You can always work with me on virtual coaching and I'll help you fix that. I want you to feel this in your butt and your hamstrings. Wow, this is tough. Okay, two more, everything's on fire. Last one, like my pants. Okay, bring it back to center, find a, find a center bridge, breathe, and then lower down. So now we're going to an exercise called frog pumps. Yes, that is right, frog pumps. You're gonna bring your feet together like butterfly and your knees out to the side. Now, some of my clients like to bring their heads up, some like it down. So it's really up to you, play with both. You're just gonna lift and lower. Now you know why it's called frog pumps. So yeah, you can try head up. I actually do feel a little more of a glute push there, but you know, both ways are good. You can't really go wrong with this one. Wow, now you're feeling everything that you've been doing this entire hip and thigh workout, and you're thinking, I'm gonna come back to this video again and get stronger from it. I know, me too. I actually might press play on my own video. I've done that before because there aren't videos that I, want yet on YouTube, so I've just made them and then I do them myself. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Keep pumping. So again, try the head position, see what you feel. If you do the head up, you're gonna tuck your chin in to do a little pump. Okay, now you're gonna hold it up and just pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep squeezing feet. Oh my goodness. This is really effective, this frog pump. We are never going to forget each other. You've got four. Three, two, and one. Shake it off, extend your legs up. This is our last exercise together, inner thigh scissors. So hands down by your sides, cross your legs, and you're just gonna scissor, scissor, scissor. Now, because I like to work your whole body, and you have today in this video, we're going to scissor the legs down and up to get a little bit of abs. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Good, this is a great workout. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. And also, do you know that when you have strong hips and abs, it helps prevent injury or recover from injury? So fun fact of the day, if you keep strengthening your hips with this video and other exercises to help you, you will be more bulletproof. And who doesn't want that? Good, let's do one more and bring it up. Okay, bring your knees into your chest. Flex and point your feet. Take a moment, deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And roll to the side. And you, my friend, have just completed an awesome hip, butt, and thigh workout routine. I hope that you loved it as much as I loved sharing it with you. I want to hear from you. Please make sure you comment below if you liked this YouTube video and hit like and share it with someone who you think would also want stronger hips, buns, and thighs too. I'm so happy that you joined me for today's awesome hip and butt workout routine and I hope it's something you can come back to time and time again to feel your very best. Thank you so much for joining me, for subscribing, for liking, and for sharing. I'll see you again soon for lots of fitness fun at carolinejordanfitness.com.